do I remember my first graphic design client? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, my first graphic design client, and by client I mean someone that actually paid me for a design, would have to be a DJ Pooh of Griffin, Georgia, which is my hometown, which is, you know, the grip. <laughs> but yeah, DJ Pooh was, um, you know, he used to do these mixtapes um, where he put together a playlist. You know what a mixtape is. But um, yeah, so he contacted me about doing one. Well, that's not the story, actually. So the story goes, he was, he and my older brother were friends. And uh, I think I'd stop by to visit my brother. This had to be. Jeez, this had to be 10 years ago now. <laughs> but um, I stopped by to visit my brother, and he was over there visiting as well, and they were kind of talking about hip-hop and basically stuff that we used to do all the time. We still do this. And um, he t my brother told him, like, yeah, you know, this is Jay. No, nah, he said Jamal. He never called me Jay. But this is Jamal, and um, he does graphic design, and, you know, you, know, you need somebody for your mixtapes. And Pooh's like, yeah, I'll try them out. You know how much you charge, and... Deer in the headlights, right? Like, I'd never charged anybody before this moment. I think um, all of my design at, at that point had been either for myself or my friends because we used to rap, and I just didn't believe in just doing the music without having the image to go with it. So, you know, I used to do all of our stuff and random things for classes, but nothing where I'd been paid. So, you know, <laughs> it opened me up to a whole new world, man, because, like, when he said, how much will I charge... I didn't have a frame of reference. I think I may have... God, I wish I could remember. I think... I would assume I told him somewhere between $50 and $75. I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong, he'll let me know. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's how that went. And um, it was so funny. Like, I went online and I looked at current mixtape trends or current for the time and, you know, to kind of see what uh, people were doing. And I just tried to mimic that almost. Uh, I picked some of the artists from the track list of the tape he put out, and I just kind of put it together, you know. Man, I'm pretty sure I still have that file. But, um, yeah, so, like I said, you know, up until that point, you know, I'm in college, and I wasn't looking at this as a career. I was in school to be something else. I think at that point I, I was still pursuing being a teacher. And, um... It never crossed my mind that, hey, this is something you can do to take care of yourself. This is something you can make a living out of. It was just a hustle. It was, I needed gas, you know. We wanted to get to the parties on the weekends, and I needed Air Force Ones or, you know, used all your meal plan money, and you don't want to eat what's in the actual cafeteria. You can spend that $50, 45 that you get off a of mixtape cover. But, yeah, I think DJ Pooh was probably my first paying client for about, I'd say four or five projects. Um, I think I may have done four or five projects for him before someone else wanted me to do something else for them, which was in the same vein. It was like a mixtape or a club flyer or something like that. Something still in that feel. You know, then eventually someone asked me about a website. I didn't have a design website of my own at the time. Like when someone first asked me to design a website for them, they'd seen the website I designed for my music group. Um, so I was kind of slow on the takeoff because it hit me well there's a such thing as a portfolio and I don't have one of those and people are asking me for this stuff so I need to kind of you know create that so ironically enough most of my clientele has come from things I've done for myself first and then someone else liked it which I think is kind of poetic because you know that means I did it out of love because I did it for me or my friend or whoever and then someone's like, hey, that's pretty cool. I'll pay you to do that for me, which is the dream. That's pretty much what I think that's what all creators are living for. Like, hey, that's pretty cool. How much did you charge me to do that? Here's the money. But that's crazy to think about. Like, those first steps, man, you know, because now, I mean, of course, I've integrated photography into the design, which I was doing photography back then on little point and shoot cameras. Like, <laughs> I'd show up and with my dad's Minolta, little two, three hundred dollar camera. And um, do a photo shoot and take those photos and make mixtape covers out of them or album covers or flyers or websites. And all that kind of started from DJ Pooh asking me to do Gutter Butter Volume 3. I don't know who did Volume 1 and 2. I know that's the next question. I don't know. I'm, 
I don't know who did those. Um, never even saw them to compare. They may have been better. <laughs> or, you know, maybe I knocked it out of the park. I don't know. But I know we kept the relationship going. So I thought I did okay. And yeah, here I am today. Still doing the same thing. Charging clients for what I love to do. And wow, that's where that started. That's crazy, man. That's really crazy. Like, like that's so crazy in my Beyonce voice, you know? So if you see DJ Poo out in the city or, you know, wherever you may see him, tell him I said thanks because he did. He opened me up to a new world that I hadn't even considered. I think I was so dead set on I'm going to be a rapper on some level that it didn't even cross my mind that people were being paid to do graphic design. And I'd been doing it for a while. And I never even thought of it as a viable career option. And it just goes to show you, you'll fall into, well, if you're lucky and blessed, you can fall into the thing that best suits you without any prior wish or knowledge of doing so. Wow. Got a butter changed my life. I wonder if anybody else can say that. I gotta go find that tape. Pooh, if you got that tape, I need that tape. <laughs> Jeez.